Hi everyone! I am going to show you today how to use PowerPoint instead of Citee for your portfolio. Um, so I know some of you have been having trouble with the website, um, so I've created kind of an easier version of this project um, that you can use to turn in your artwork. So the first thing that we're going to do is find PowerPoint. Um, so if you go to the search bar at the bottom of your screen and type in PowerPoint, um, hopefully this will come up. I know some students have been having trouble with this, that it's not coming up, um, but what has been working is if you type in Office instead. So um, PowerPoint is an Office program, um, so it will be inside the Office um, kind of folder. So um, PowerPoint is the reddish-orange one with the big P. So we're going to click on that. Now to start a new presentation, um, I'll just click this new blank presentation. This will open up PowerPoint. So I'm just going to click that to add the first slide. And I am grading these the same way that I'm grading the websites. Um, so take a look at those requirements and make sure that you still add everything um, to your PowerPoint um, that you would have to your website. Um, so I want to start in design. So if you come up here to the top, click on design. <clears throat> so here are some themes. Um, you, can, you can choose from any of these themes, right, to add a background. Um, each one has some variations that you can choose from. Um, and over here you can change the colors, all these different um, kind of color palettes you can choose from, different fonts, um, which of course you can also change when you're editing, but this is a nice way to change all of the fonts in your, um, in your whole presentation. All right, and then you can also, there are these background effects for, um, again, adjusting your background. Um, so I'm going to type in, so I want you to include your name, all right, so I know who this belongs to. So I'm going to call this Miss Figgy's artwork. Okay, I'm going to add, so, so now, now that you've picked your um, design, um, you're going to be spending most of your time in insert, in the insert menu. All right, so I'm going to click on insert, new slide. Now, so if you click on this big button, it'll just add um, the most common use, the most kind of common kind of slide. Um, but you can also click this down arrow, and there are a bunch of different um, kind of layout options that you can choose. Um, I'm going to stick with this one for now. And now I'm going to show you how to insert um, a picture. So I'm still in the insert menu. I'm going to go to pictures. And now this pulls up my file folder or my file finder. So, um, so anything that's saved on my computer, I can now um, access those files and put them into my PowerPoint. So this could be something that you made in Fresh Paint or Paint 3D. Um, or this could be something that you took a photo of with your web webcam. Those would all be files that are automatically in your computer already. So I am going to look for, let's see, all of my pictures are in the pictures folder. Um, if you took it with the, um, the webcam, it would be in this camera roll folder. So if you open up that and go towards the bottom, so these are all of the activators that I photographed with my webcam. Um, and then my Fresh Paint and Paint 3D stuff is all in this Pictures folder. I'm just going to find this, my Expressionist Painting, click Insert. Once it's in there, I can adjust the size, I can adjust the placement. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller right there. And up here, I'm going to write what it is. So if you can add titles for all of your activators and projects, that is so, so helpful to me because I know exactly what it is you're submitting and I don't have to guess 
um, which project it's for. Especially with those activators, sometimes the pictures are a little bit blurry, um, <clears throat> sketches are a little bit quick. Um, <clears throat> so it would be really helpful if you can um, write the title of whatever it is you're submitting. Um, so from here, you're just going to repeat this, right? You can keep adding slides, um, keep adding your artwork. I'm going to add an activator now. Let's put in my werewolf clipping toenails. Right, and again, you can find all of the activators and their names on my website. Adjust this to fill up the screen. Um, you could put multiple activators in one slide if you want to, but try not, don't make them too small. Uh, no more than one week on a slide. Right, um, and you also have, um, it gives you other design ideas um, over here in your, um, in this panel, they, they, sometimes they suggest different backgrounds, different layouts, um, so you can play with those, those options as well, if you like. Um, and the other important thing here is, I'm going to add a new slide. Uh, you can arrange your slides. So I'm going to make an About Me page, because that was a big part of the grade for the web design project. Um, and if you're doing a PowerPoint instead of the web design, I'm still going to grade you on that portion. Um, so, I want you to tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, so I'm just going to type in some randoming, random facts about myself. I like kittens and gardening and cooking. And now, um, to jazz it up, I'm going to go back to insert. I'm going to go to online pictures. So here I can add pictures from online. So these aren't pictures that you took, um, but pictures that might be related to um, what you're telling me about. So I'm going to look for cooking. Since I said I like cooking. I'm going to pick that one, insert. And always, as with every project, um, the more effort you put in um, to your project, the better your grade will be. So um, if you really, you know, get into sharing about yourself and your interests, um, that will give you a better grade um, than simply, you know, slapping things in and leaving it. Right? So have fun playing with your fonts, your colors, um, your pictures, telling me about yourself. Um, and of course, um, add all of your artwork to this one presentation. You're only going to be making one. Um, every time you complete a project, put it in this, right? So, so now I'm going to show you how to save it and share it. Um, so I'm going to save a copy and I'm going to call it Miss Figgy's Art Portfolio. So I know what it is. Okay. And now, again, File, Share. So to share this, um, sometimes it sends it automatically through PowerPoint. Sometimes it puts it into an email. For whatever reason, it does different things sometimes, you know. Um, but either way, it works, whether it's in an email or directly through PowerPoint. Um, either way, you can just start typing my name, Figgy, um, and my address will come right up. You can send it. And now, you don't have to send it to me ever again. Once I have your PowerPoint presentation, I will see everything you add to it when you add it. I bookmark them in my web browser, and I can just go back to it every time I'm grading and see whatever you've added. Um, so that is the easiest way for me to make sure that I am, am grading everything that you've made in this class. So put all of your work here if you haven't already done it in the website. Um, this is crucial to turning in your artwork. All right. Have a good one.